Hey everyone, this is Fred Ranger. I hope you're doing good. In today's video, I want to address a question that I get asked uh, multiple times. And it's the fact that, you know, some people are debating if they should get the X Pro 2, which is a very, very good camera, or the X-T2 from, uh, from Fujifilm. And as you know, I've been shooting with both for a number of months now, and I mean, it's been more than a year for the X Pro 2 and uh, almost a year for the X-T2. And I, I, I would say that there is two main reasons why you would wanna go for one or the other, although they do share the same very, very uh, performant X-Trans sensor, the X-Trans 3 sensor, very, very high quality. For me, at the end of the day, it becomes a question of a couple of things. The first question you should ask yourself is, do you plan on doing any video? If you do, I would definitely look into the X-T2 uh, and its 4K capabilities. I know they will be bringing, uh, or they actually already brought uh, 4K recording to the X-Pro2, uh, but for me, uh, the camera that was designed with video uh, not as an afterthought, but with video in mind, was the X-T2, and I did use it for some videos, although I do prefer my Sony A6500 that I'm filming on. Yes, I'm a, I'm a dual brand or triple brand type guy. I use whatever I need to tell my story. Uh, but let's go back to these cameras. So if you are primarily thinking about doing stills only, I would definitely look into the X-Pro2 because the X-Pro2, as you can see, has a smaller form factor. I mean, I have the battery grip on the uh, X-T2 here, but uh, this is, uh, for me, more portable. If you do enjoy kind of the rangefinder uh, experience, the X-Pro2 will suit you best. I mean, if you look at my X-Pro2 here uh, with a small lens, this is a 23 uh, F2, very, very good lens, gives you a 35 millimeter equivalent. Uh, it's just super light, like you can literally drop it in your bag. And I would recommend getting with the X-Pro2 uh, a couple of other prime lenses. I would look into the 35 uh, F2, which is another very good lens that's uh, also weather sealed. And it just fits very well in the hand. Uh, I would also recommend getting this little thumb grip here if you do get the X Pro 2 because uh, the grip, if you have big hands, is not that uh, excellent when you uh, buy the X Pro 2 as is. But just this little mod, which is a uh, LMXP2 little thumb grip here makes a world of a difference because your thumb can rest on uh, this little uh, thing here and then you can use the camera like that. Uh, some people ask me about the uh, EVF and the OVF on this uh, little camera here. That's one of the other main difference uh, that uh, this camera has over the X-T2. I don't use the uh, OVF at all. I mean, I tried it a couple times for street photography and I end up uh, finding it very cumbersome when it comes to trying to see how the picture is gonna look like. I got so used to the, uh, to the EVF from the X100, the X-Pro2, and the X-T2 that I now shoot exclusively with the EVF, the electronic viewfinder, so where you can see basically the exposure, the frame, uh, and everything you need to see when you take a photo. I do uh, prefer also the dials on the X-T2. Uh, so as you can see here, I mean, if you wanna change your ISO on the X-Pro2, you will have to lift that little uh, ring here, and then you'll have to select your uh, your ISO uh, and then you'll have also to use the same dial without lifting it uh, to change the speed so that that is for me a, a, a kind of a kind of a downer on the X Pro 2 but again I just love this camera there's there's some soul to this camera uh, there is something unique about this camera this rangefinder camera uh, if you are a person that uses the swivel screen a lot uh, again Advantage X-T2 because um, you can actually swipe it like so, and you can actually use it in very low angle. You can also use it like that if you wanna be able to see what you're uh, shooting when you put it up in the air. And this very nice side view, uh, which becomes very interesting when you wanna do verticals and also see what you are shooting in very low angle. So I would say there, there's, there's tons of advantage for the X-T2, but there's a very special place in my heart for the X-Pro2, for all the reasons that I mentioned, the rangefinder style, the fact that it's so compact, 
and uh, so light to use especially when you use prime lenses uh, on it and again there's something that there's a little je ne sais quoi there's something unique about this camera uh, and it's the 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 X Pro 2 the sole that's in it uh, that you won't find in the X-T2 although the X-T2 is the more logical choice if you need an all-around camera that can do stills and that can do 4k video so I want to open the debate. Uh, are you guys thinking about getting any of the Fuji camera system? If you do, uh, please uh, ask it down below or tell me down below which one are you planning on going with. Uh, I would, if I if 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 it was to 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 do it over today, I think I would lean towards the XT2 again just because. Uh, uh, this camera is a, is a more complete all-around camera with all the features and the battery grip and all this great stuff. But again, I mean, I started with the X Pro 2 with the Fuji Professional Ecosystem and I won't sell this camera yet. Uh, I will keep it in my bag, I will continue using it and again, I just feel very, very confident when I'm on the street with this camera. Although the X100 is starting to, or the X100F is starting to, to take the place of this, uh, of this camera more and more. Uh, so again, if you have any questions about any of these cameras or any recommendation you would need, please ask them down below. If you like the videos you're seeing, please go back to my older videos. I have a ton of video about the Fujifilm gear and ecosystem, also about my switch from Nikon to uh, Fujifilm, why I decided to switch, why I decided to uh, you know, sell everything and go to Fujifilm. Ask your question down below. I've been Fred Ranger. Be happy, enjoy life, and enjoy your Fujifilm or other brand gear. Cheers.